Uh, what is it? E stands for? E sports bus. Back in again, video. Oh jeez, always that was rubbish. Um, I got a shout out. A couple actually, but don't know which one I can do. But I suppose I have to put both as I can try. Well, I'll just do what I did like before, where I edit it in later. I'll do that then. Right. Just let me get my phone at what percentage? Seven percent. It'll be all right. Um, this is part three of K9. I'm going to try and retune it a bit so I've got a bit of signal. Because last time I was making a lot of like weird noises like you do in a spaceship. Right. And thank you for the 146 subscribers. So I'm nearly on the 150 mark, which I'm going to be happy about. Right, RC Dre D R E. Um, basically, it's called RC Dre. Is it Dre Dre? Whichever the two. I'll link it in the description. It's, it's that one there. Um, thank you from Grandmother's and Old Man for sending this guy across to my channel, as I'm in fact very grateful of that. And he said, he said, hey Drew and um, your friend, Grannons and Old Man sent me over to check out your channel. Awesome content, buddy. Keep up the cool videos for us all. And do you know something? Thank you for that comment. And thank you, Grannons and Old Man, for sending this guy over. As this is, this is what I'm aiming for. This is what people... I do win, so thank you very much. So that's a new subscriber, so um, I'll link his channel in the description below. Um, I am subscribed back, so don't worry. So let me click on my channel so I can um, get back to the return of K9. What was. Yeah, I've deleted the non. Not, uh, the non. You know, the video without the. Music, uh, not the music, the sounding due to the um, oh, because the microphone won't push in all the way. But, anyways, second shout out goes to Risk Nova. Um, I have a third channel, so check it out. So, he subscribed to it, so thank you very much. I'll subscribe back, anyways. He's, he's got Black Ops Far out on this game on his channel and Fortnite. If you guys are a Fortnite fan, sorry. And Mikey Smith. Mm hmm. Sound familiar? <laughs> Anyways. So, and why I'm not a Terminator, so. Yeah. So, thank you for subscribing to my channels, you guys. I will link them both in the description below. Don't forget to check them out. And also, go to my second channel called Drew Spicer Reacts, that's where I'm doing reaction videos of trying to laugh and stuff. I'll be possibly doing that today, might not be, but hey, we'll get through today, because I've got quite a lot of stuff to do. Um, first things first, yes, my LEDs. In fact, when I stuck these up, like a couple of days later, I noticed a green LED started to go off, but it was because there was a band called Bad Contact on the capacitor. But it's managed to stay where it is now, and it's finally working. Um, I'll just put some tape over it, there we go. Easy fix. That's what's holding up the strip light, seriously. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Anyways. I'm glad to get this guy retuned. I have charged up the power bank. Well, this one, so it's a bit stronger. And I will be plugging it in. Now, what I want to do is I want to fasten the cable to this because I actually put it over there to test out the other lights to make sure they work with the, with the power bank. And you actually do, we're not stronger, but it gives off a bit of light. Right, it's doing the multicolor fe the function. All my screws and that water stripped from um, is still there from when I was stripping down the thing in the bob. So, I'm going to have to make like a battery housing or something. 
I just want to fasten tie this around a few times to give it some strength and hook it from inside there and do that so it's like that and it's wrapped around the base of the thing <laughs> and from um, RC um, Dereed who forgotten it sorry but he does um he, he likes Doctor Who so that's good anyways so somehow I'm gonna turn on the volume because I don't want it to go too loud and plug it in switch it on Okay, I'll have to keep turning these. It keeps turning it off, it is charged. Right, turn that off. It starts tuning up these back things here. So I can get a bit better signal. Sorry about that. So that's tuned up a bit. Um, I know it's what making a real fuzzy noise. The reason I don't know why it keeps cancelling out the battery because it is fully charged. I don't think it's got. I think the alpha was a bit too weak for it, but hey, should be all right. It's not like it's frying or anything, is it? And I'm not going to get a shock of it. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not getting shock. Although, I'd like to stick some lasers on it and get it against Bob. Uh, not Bob, Matt. I'm joking, Matt. Calm down. Because he keeps calling me Terminator. I'm not a Terminator, Terminator, whatever you want to call me. I could be human, I could be alien. Right, I need something just there. I want something to be right there. Hang on, there's an audio jack, isn't there? So, the, the thing that moves, this thing, still working, good. And you can see that. Now, do you want to know something funny about these in infrared? I saw this video, Granite's and Old Man's video, where he took all of these infrared things infrared bulbs, what you want to call them, and he, he turned it into, he put it on the lamp, and when you turn it on it looks like a UV colour, but it was flashing, pulsating, but you couldn't see it by the naked eye, you had to see it by the camera, and it's actually pretty cool. So I suggest you go to his channel.
because he is brilliant. He's actually got quite a lot of subscribers now. I don't think when I when I first met him he had that much subscribers, but now he's got quite a lot. Right, I'm trying to look for something to like give it extra oomph to it. If that's how I can say it. What do we have here? Huzzah. Hmm. Now oh, this is just so... Uh... Now, I don't know what I could use this bit for. I don't know what even plugs into the desk. I'm not going to even use that. <laughs> Electric keys. Not even mine. Well, there was. I just need to find what I can put in this thing. And um, obviously, you know, keep it on. I'd say, I suppose I could just use blue tack. That alarm is really annoying and the back needs changing. So I'm going to use, use high tech blue tack just to keep it on. Right. So. I was going to put, in fact I could put this on the carpet, but I have to take the rug off because it's in the way. So I'm going to tidy up my floor up a bit and uh, I'll record the floor shot for the tank. And, well, canine, why would I call it a tank? Well, the main structure is a tank and then it's got an old radio TV stuck to the top of it being rewired and everything and same for the tank. So, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, now you can see my lovely floor. Um, okay, now. Yes, I know I've not got no socks on because I can't be bothered. But hey, I've only just got up like a couple of hours ago. So, oh dear me, okay, now. Might as well put that screwdriver down there. See. Now, you know something? What if I just programmed it to the unit? That's actually a pretty good idea. Then I have to erase all the memory banks. I might do that, but not yet. It'll save me some batteries anyway. Um, I don't know, I don't think you know, but I've put the reset button at the top here. So, yeah. There is some LEDs, but they're not working, but there's not really matter. So. Right, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. So. So I don't get copyrighted. to do something right if I put this on yeah I found a way to turn it off in effects mode all you need to do is put it in program mode um, not in program mode in enter lock code so you press it four times quickly then you just hold down the button no that says on I'm going to turn it back on. So I press it three times and hold down on the fourth, I think. Mode. Press it ten times quickly to erase it. Cool. Sorry, I'm going to have to retune it as well. Right. 
So it, I don't confuse the signals. You can No. Tap on the bottom. Ooh, hey. Right, so. No. Shouldn't be doing that really, but. Hello. Yes, my microphone's over there, so. Who is doing it? Okay, okay. I have to do this. So you know I'm not using the remote, which is right there. in the bottom. You know something, this is like the, the time when um, the 11th Doctor was in George's George's room like saying about the cupboard and playing with his toys with a sonic screwdriver so I can actually relate to that. Right, I'm going to have to like reprogram it because I don't think it's doing it but it is working so we know that so I'm not pressing any buttons, right. Down. This is so fun. Hang on.
This is so fun, dude. Like, you can actually control it like you do with Matt Smith when when you live. Doctor does it with the with George's toys, you know, with the wardrobe likes. Same from the Monsters episode, I can't remember what episode, but I seen it on Mod Bro last yesterday. Bring this a bit closer. I like that the fact it does it like pretty, you know, slow amounts instead of like constant when you press a button, so that's something. I can imagine Granaz and Oman doing this as well. Because I've I, I got a sneaky feeling they might do something like this, like make like a robot, like on wheels or something, I don't know. You know, that's a good project. Shut up. Now, I want to see what it does in TV Big On mode. Because sometimes it sends these lights quirky. So it might be a long pro process really. <laughs> 